our parties and partisans have exploited and exacerbated pre-existing conflicts across the country, chieftaincy disputes and others. Every little thing is now given every little conflict soon, sooner than later takes on a party flavor. This is beginning to heighten polarization in our society. In between elections, what are we seeing uh, with our parties? We may not have a de jure one party uh, state, and we don't, but we do have a party state now. Mm. And the party states, uh, the, our party states operates essentially as a one party state just in four year increments. The party that wins power, and, when, and I'm, I'm talking not just about winner takes all, but there's a certain party first ideology and agenda that has replaced the national and public interest as the guiding principle in, in, governing, in governance. In the 1960s, the slogan was the CPP is Ghana and Ghana is the CPP. Today, when the NPP is in power, the NPP is Ghana and Ghana is the NPP. And when the arrivals take over, Ghana becomes the NDC and the NDC becomes Ghana. Hmm. The party card has become more valuable than the Ghana card. Just look at the sheer amount of investment in advertising and other characteristics we had to throw in for the average Ghanaian to go and queue for a Ghana card. The party card, for the party card, you don't need advertisement at all. In fact, they, they won't even, they will, they will hide it from you. It's a very scarce commodity. The demand far outstrips the supply. And the supply is kept actually intentionally low by the party executives because really our parties are not that interested in members. They just want voters. They just want you to vote for them. 